Well, tech is taking over the healthcare space with almost one in three Americans using a wearable device like a smartwatch, a ring, or a band. And that's according to a 2023 survey by Health Information National Trends. And these devices are even part of healthcare plans. Policyholders, they're able to use flexible savings and health savings account dollars to purchase these devices. And some insurers even offer incentives like lower premiums for using wearables to complete challenges and track their health. Joining me now, we've got Tom Hale, who is the CEO of Aura, the company behind the popular Aura Ring wearable device. Great to have you here on the program with us. You know, just take us into how you've been able to craft this product knowing that as you're looking across the consumer landscape that there are more people that want to be able to use this data to decrease their spends in, in healthcare and some of the premiums that they're paying. Well, thank you, Brad, and appreciate you having me on the show. I think it's it's important to recognize that uh, healthcare, honestly, is the cost is really borne by you know your insurer, uh, and that the reality is that if you think about all the things that might possibly kill you, maybe twenty percent are going to be related to your DNA, uh, your genetics. Maybe twenty percent are going to be related to your environment, or maybe an illness that you contract. Uh, but the balance, call it roughly 60%, are going to be affected by your behavior. So the choices that you make in your life uh, are really the secret to long-term health. So well, what does a, a wearable or a ring wearable like this have to do with that? Well, this is a tool for you to become the CEO of your own health journey. It's partially education. It's partially an early warning system. It's a check engine light for your body. It teaches you about the dynamics of what normal health looks like for you and gives you insights when you realize that something's changing. It also fosters healthy behaviors. Hmm. Healthy behaviors, we all know what they are, right? Sleep well, eat well, get exercise, stay connected to your community. If you can foster these behaviors and if you can emphasize these behaviors and you can change people's behaviors, you will have a major impact on health. Right. And the reality is, is that that affects the impact of costs because most of the costs occur late in life, during aging, when heart or metabolic or other issues crop up, whether they're cognitive health like Alzheimer's or uh, Parkinson's. These are the costs that really are the, the burdens both on the individual and mm -hmm. on our society. Certainly. So preventative health is the key. And a wearable, a tiny device that you start wearing now, if it changes your behavior, Brad, I guarantee you will have a much longer. But more importantly, healthier life. And so Tom, as we're in the middle of, for many people who have an employer sponsored healthcare plan, or at least share the payments, all these things consider open enrollment is the season that we're in right now. And so as people are trying to figure out, you know, what their contributions to healthcare spending accounts or flexible spending accounts may look like and how that can be used towards smart devices that will help them track and get the data that really gauges how some of those actions that they're trying to take are actually contributing to their, their overall status as being more healthy, how can they make sure that, and how have you been able to go about making sure that you've got the partnerships to ensure that they can offset some of the costs for devices like this with some of those flexible spending and healthcare uh, savings accounts? Well, you said it best, health is wealth. And, and by calling out your HSA, a healthcare savings account, or FSA, flexible spending account, that's a really great, uh, really great opportunity for access for something as you know powerful as as this very very small long battery life device that you wear 24 seven. The we were one of the very first wearables to be approved for HSA FSA, and of, of course for those of you who don't know, those are pre tax funds, and you can use them to purchase uh, an Aura ring and re uh, uh, re re reimburse your your cost not just for the hardware but also for the ongoing subscription using those funds. Um, that provides a huge a uh, asset because that's something like, you know, the, the tax savings that you get can be applied directly to your health. Um, my advice to folks would be, you know, to, to, to take advantage of their FSA or HSA account as much as possible. Pre-tax dollars, as we all know, are incredibly beneficial. Um, the kinds of things that you can purchase with those things, there's a, a, a wide range of, of things that you might get for your health. Among them, this really tiny wearable that I think is very, very in demand and very desirable right now. People really want to gain 
access to, to giving their body a voice. Mm -hmm. The other way we see access is really working with insurers. And we were the uh, one of the first companies to work with the Medicare Advantage program. Our partner here is Essence Health. Uh, Essence Health is um, a Medicare Advantage program that, that is really tar targeted towards seniors. Uh, they yeah. are really trying to change the way seniors uh, maybe take control of their aging process and have the metrics and have the data to change their behaviors in a positive way. Tom, just lastly, while we have you here, uh, there's there's a potential battle brewing uh, with the healthcare uh, industry right now, as President-elect Trump has made some statements about what may happen to the Affordable Care Act, what type of reforms may come forward. How, how would that impact the number of people that are able to tap into using spending dollars or being able to purchase a smart device and ultimately use that for their healthcare journey? And, and, and what would your advice, what would you hope to see from the admin, incoming administration with regard to the healthcare industry so that we could use more data like that's been, that which is being garnered from companies like yours? Well, my advice is, as always, that people should take charge of their own health journey. Uh, you know, you can, you can depend on uh, medical uh, interventions late in life when you're suffering from either some illness or something that's really about sick care. And by the way, it's incredible what, what medicine is able to do. But really, the most important thing that you can do at all ages is to foster healthy habits. And that includes, you know, getting enough sleep, making sure you're eating healthily, making sure you're getting exercise. These are the behaviors that if you build them into your lifestyle and build them into your life, you end up with a longer health span. Now, what the government does and what, what the president-elect does, I think, remains to be seen. I, I don't believe that anything is going to try and reduce the health in this country. We have uh, already a little bit of a health crisis. We have, uh, and we spend the most of all the modern industrialized countries. Uh, we have some of the worst outcomes in terms of all-cause mortality and overall lifespan. And I think it's going to be really important for, uh, for, for the government to take a look at what are the things that we can change. I, I do believe that nutrition is one of the core things that actually is key to provide accessibility to everyone. Healthy, non-processed foods are, are one of the foundations of health alongside of sleep and exercise. So we are really hopeful that we're gonna see some very positive changes uh, coming through for the nation's health. Now, of course, there's nothing stopping you today from going ahead and making some lifestyle changes that are gonna affect both your health span, mm -hmm. your healthy lifespan, and your lifespan, your overall uh, life you know, duration of your life. Tom Hale, Aura CEO. Tom, good to grab some time with you here. Thanks so much for hopping Thanks, on Yahoo Brad. Finance with us. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Take care.